Hi everyone, my name is Alexa and I'm here today to talk to you about cease and desist letters. So very simply put, cease and desist letters are requests for a person to cease to stop selling a brand and to desist forever stop selling this brand or product in the future. So I hear people saying, oh well I received this letter but I'm selling authentic products. I have invoices to prove my, my products are authentic. That's great. So with that in mind, you have an option of how to proceed. So you could either respond and attempt to find a settlement agreement with the brand so that way you never have to worry about dealing with a lawsuit in the future, or you could tell the person who is sending you the cease and desist letter to go, go and scratch pretty much, just because you have proof that your, your products that you're selling are authentic. If they were to bring you up in a lawsuit, they would be wrong because your products are authentic and you're covered by the first sale doctrine because you have proof that your products were purchased through the stream of commerce and are not materially any different from what the manufacturer or what the brand sells. I hope this has been informative and if you have any questions about cease and desist letters, please don't hesitate to reach out to me or to anybody on our litigation team, they'd be more than happy to assist you.